Were you two, you and Mr. Fox, able to reach an alternative agreement? Yes. Okay, what was it based on your understanding? I was supposed to pay $700 weekly until the debt was paid off. Yes. And you agree, Mr. I agree. Fox? All right, so we have a copy here. And I see here one of the terms of the agreement is that you're going to inspect it immediately. And right. if it's not in decent and clean condition, then the tenant will vacate the property within just a couple of days. Correct. Did you go ahead and do that inspection? I did. I served a 24-hour notice. It's in your files. Right. And then I went over with Ishmael to do the inspection. I have to say, when Mr. McPhee came into my office, he was very cordial. And he said, you know, I can move out, you know, in three days. Rarely do I have a tenant come in and, and be that, you know, cooperative and just say, I I'm sure and I'm done with this stuff. And I was really concerned for him. It's like, when the story finally settled that, you know, somebody had stolen this money from him, I probably stepping beyond my authority, but I said, you know, you need to, like, freeze your accounts. You know, you need to go to the bank and stop anybody from being in your bank account, and you need to figure out, you know, what's going on here. Because if you're making 2500 bucks a week and you only have $300 left in the account, that's pretty major. Mr. McPhee, Mr. Fox said that when you came in, you were cordial, respectful. Was he helpful? Was he kind to you in response as well? Yeah. We talked, and yeah, I wasn't in the greatest state of mind. I was on the verge of crying because of what was going on. But yeah, anger doesn't suit me, so it's not, it doesn't help to do that. But yeah, he was, seemed understanding. I'm gonna go ahead and let my colleague, Judge Corriero, pick it up from there. Is this the agreement that the both of you entered yes. into on October 7th? And you say in the agreement, if the landlord finds that the condition of the unit is in habitable condition, the tenant may remain in possession. If the landlord finds that the unit is not in decent and clean condition, then the tenant will vacate the property by Sunday, October 9th. Now, did something intervene between October 7th and October 10th when you sent a letter to the defendant saying, since I've been given a rather changeable story, I do not expect anything to actually happen that would be to my benefit. Therefore, please move out now. But your position was, I was ready, willing, and able to perform this agreement, but the plaintiff threw me out. Yes. Is that before your the first, Yeah, and, before and, the first payment date, I was told to leave the apartment. Did he inspect the premises? Yes. And what was the end result conversation then? He said the place looks fine and said I could still... Is that right, it. Mr. Fox? No. So what, what is your version of it? So my notice to enter is a 24-hour notice dated on the 6th to enter on the 7th. I think I was very kind. I said, okay, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. You have till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If you have to wash some dishes or make the bed, I mean, it's quite all right with me. You know, I'm not here to, like, kick people right. out just because they didn't wash a dish, you know. So at 3 o'clock, I came over with Ishmael, my assistant, and it was not in a shambles. I mean, I had a television set on a chair onto some boxes. Not a big deal for me. Uh, was it habitable? No. There was a... There Judge was... DeWalda? So go ahead. I'd, I'd like to know what you observed about this unit. There was some really odd smell in the unit. I could not have rendered it out to anyone else with that smell. I didn't know what it was from. It didn't seem like cigarette smell, which is prohibited in the lease. It didn't smell like marijuana, but it was a really lousy smell.